They'll be calling you a radical. I think this is very indicative of how it looked just feet from here. Just feet from here. John Steinbeck, what happened to the last the sardines? They're in a can. That's what happened to the sardines. I mean, it's very similar to the Unnatural History Museum in New York. The ocean's right here, by the way. I mean, we have to go in and view wildlife. I mean, that's who we are. I mean, this is the real ocean right here. So we're right there looking. Those are real sardines. That's what it used to be here. They're gone. You know, it's heartbreaking. I mean, so, like I said, what, everything, I don't know, who's going to view the dead humans? Or the, you know, we'll save a few humans and put them in there. This is the real ocean. That's what it used to look like right there. Pretty amazing. I got to tell you this story. This great, they're all volunteers in there, by the way, and I've been pleasantly surprised. They all know about Fukushima, and you can't talk to any marine biologists because it's all volunteers. All volunteers. Lots of otters I've seen, but seals, very weak numbers on the seals. But get this. This is another concerning story. The grays. They said what's happened to the grays this year, the babies are being born this far north. Now why? Because they're, the theory is, according to them, they're having to go further up Antarctica because of the water temperature. And so they can only swim so far, so they're giving birth to their young much earlier. They're not making it all the way down to Mexico. Baby, she says baby blues all over right through here. This temperature is very cold on this water. That's not good. That's not good. So the ranger I talked to is full of shit down there in uh, uh, up there above Gorda. He didn't tell me this story. You know, I found this out today. So, okay, sea lions doing well, I think. I thought the gray whale, nope, gray whales aren't even doing good. They're not even making down to have their young. We know the orcas, mortality rate zero. There are no sardines. You sell the only sardines in there. There are no sardines. There's no sardines. The, I've documented thousands of tide pools on the pier, piers of Avala, Point Lobo, so there's no surfish, none. There's no clam rises, there's no muscle rises, no nothing. I mean, the Pacific Genocide is very, very real, and I've documented it. It's very real. You know, and they all know. They all know Fukushima. They're all concerned. They're all environmentalists, and, you know, they're all volunteers. So, it's heartbreaking. I just found that story out today. So, there's more documentation of the Pacific Genocide. Very real. You know, and they talk about starfish being whirling disease. They talk about... And somebody tried to argue me with about the trees being the beetle. And I says, oh no, I talked to the rangers up there. And they're like, oh no, we corp sampled those majestic monsters. And it's not the... It's not the beetles. Because they, they lost some of their majestic monsters out on the cliff. And they wanted to find out. And they says it was no beetles. They said, it, they said it's radiation. Because that's how, why do you think they're ever, these evergreens stay green all year? That's how they say green, they're radiating the leaf. They're calling it solar radiation, which is BS. It's pretty sad. It's just like when I started this gig in New York. I started this gig in New York, and that ship hanging on there. You now we have to view that from Diablo Canyon. Wow. Wow, what a journey I've had, and what an education. I've got a PhD just in these last few months. I need several of them. What happened to the last starfish, John Steinbeck? They're in a can. That's what happened to the last starfish, or excuse me, sardine. Very disturbing, very disturbing what I've seen. It's broke my heart. This trip has broke my heart. And by the way, you know, the, the volunteers in here are wonderful, and they get it. I, I, I'm pleasantly surprised. They all know about Fukushima, and they're I like, they all get it. But the sheep, they're fine with this. Oh, look, honey. This is where we'll come view it. Very sad. The ocean's dead, dying. Uh, I documented it. It's true. Stand to it. We simply went from the we to the eye. We simply went from the we to the eye to the capital we, from the square deal to the new deal to the raw deal to the capital I I I, the youngest cultural theme park in world history. Now we're going to turn the Pacific Ocean to a cultural theme park virtual. Ha! Not going to work. Without these, the eco chain dies. First they go, 
then the sea lions go. The big ones will go. The big mammals go, just like they took the redwoods. I won't stop there. Stay tuned.